Drug cartels uh, are effective because they have a complex network. The threat is transnational organized crime, and, these, and, and this drug interdiction is a way that we get after those uh, TCO, transnational crime organizations, right? Well, sending Atlantic area cutters to the East Pack is crucial. That's the primary drug traffic zone. We know that's an important place for us to be. We have great success there. The drugs are really just the tip of the iceberg. It goes into piracy, it goes into human trafficking, um, and a lot of other nefarious activities by, by stopping the funding source, i.e. the drugs, we're helping to stop a lot of other of the activities uh, that could potentially make their way uh, back to the United States. The Coast Guard has unique authorities and uh, capabilities. One of the things we have in particular is that authority for law enforcement to see. And then we have the ability to partner with interagencies within the U.S. government and internationally. Those international partnerships plus our partnerships inside the U.S. government are what make the Coast Guard so successful. So the Escanaba did a great job here. We, we ask a lot of these young crews, uh, and they do a fantastic job for us. Interdicting narcotics at sea is difficult. Uh, they're operating in a vast area far from home, often 1,500 miles away from America. So these, these teams get out there, they do hard things for us, and they bring back drugs like the Escanaba did today. If you want to do something worthwhile and serve your country, join the Coast Guard. We have young men and women every day that go out and do boardings at sea and seize drugs, just like the crew of the Escanaba here did.